as we have discussed in previous sections. Mindfulness means observing, acknowledging, and accepting our feelings, thoughts, emotions, and body sensations in the present moment, with an open, non-judgmental, and curious mind. But what does being in the present really mean, and why should we do that? Staying in the present moment can mean different things. On a basic level, it can mean focusing on one thing in this moment. We can focus on a conversation, a project, a task, without being distracted, without wanting to be somewhere else, without being lost in thoughts. We can be mindful of our bodies in this moment, such as our breath. Our body sensations, our movements. We can also be mindful of our surroundings in this moment, such as the sound, the feel, the temperature, the weather. On a deeper level, staying in the present moment can mean paying attention to our feelings and thoughts. Without being carried away by them, this is similar to what we are doing in meditation practices. We observe and acknowledge all our feelings, thoughts, emotions, and body sensations as they come and go, but we do not follow them around. Instead, we simply watch them, and accept that. They are part of our mind. There are different explanations on why we should focus on the present. One of the reason is that we can fully experience what we are doing if we stay in the present. When we focus on the present, we notice the sound of the wind. The beautiful view, the scents of flowers or fresh cut leaves, the warmth of the sun, all are from the present moment. This way, we are able to enjoy each feeling of being alive and awake. Another reason for staying in the present is that doing so. Can help us feel happier and more positive. When we stay in the present, we spend less time thinking about negative experience in the past, or worrying about what would happen in the future. This way, focusing on the present moment helps us to feel less anxious and worried, and keep us connected to ourselves and everything around us. Staying in the present moment can also bring us benefits, such as helping us to deal with pain, reducing stress, and decreasing its impacts on our health, and improving our ability to cope with negative emotions like fear and anger. However. Learning to shift away from the past or the future to the present moment is often easier said than done. It is natural to spend time thinking about the past and the future. We wouldn't be who we are if we did not look back at our past successes and mistakes. And learn from them. We wouldn't be who we are if we never planned for the future, or prepared ourselves for what is to come. However, 
The problem is that sometimes we get too attached to the thoughts of the past and future, and it makes us feel anxious, depressed, and stressful, and it impacts on our health too. But the real question is, how much should we think about the past and plan for our future, so that we are not missing out on the present moment? Through mindfulness, we can choose our own way to balance the thoughts of the past, the present, and the future. Keeping the three in balance. Will help us to feel happy and healthy. Here are some tips on keeping the balance of our thoughts on the past, present, and future. Think about the past for a little time. When thinking about it. Make sure that you are focusing on it for a reason. For example, to relive a pleasant experience, identify where you went wrong and reflect from it, or figure out the key to a past success. Think about the future for a little time. When thinking about it, make sure you are focusing on the future in a healthy. Low anxiety way. For example, don't spend time worrying about the future. Think about the future just long enough to prepare for it. And the most important tip is, stay in the present moment for the vast majority of your time. When paying attention to the present moment. Remember to embrace what is happening, and how you are feeling, to gain a full experience of what it's like in the present. However, following these tips is often easier said than done. But the good thing is, if we practice it regularly, it will become easier. So, how can we stay in the present moment? In today's section, we will introduce some mindfulness activities that can help you stay in the present moment in your daily lives. Our suggestions for daily mindfulness practice include mindfulness practice, build a mindfulness routine, keep a mindfulness journal, set your goals, read and listen more about mindfulness. Some of the best ways to practice mindfulness are the exercises that we have looked at. At previous sections, that include breathing exercise, body scan exercise, five senses exercise, mindful eating, mindful walking, and guided meditation. You are welcome to go back to the previous videos to practice this mindfulness practice 
for your daily practice. Or, you can try out the YouTube video links that we shared to practice mindfulness. Build a mindfulness routine. A great way for practicing mindfulness is by building your own mindfulness routine. Routines can help you stay on track. For example, you can practice mindfulness meditation every morning after waking up or every night before going to bed. Or you can practice mindfulness exercise such as mindful walking and mindful eating during the day. Once building a regular cycle of practicing mindfulness, you will feel the positive effect that mindfulness can bring to our lives. Keep a mindfulness diary or journal. Another good mindfulness exercise is to keep a mindfulness journal. Every morning or night, you can write down any emotions, feelings, and thoughts that come to your mind or anything that happened throughout the day. When you consciously write down your mindfulness experience, you can untangle the experience and have a clear and honest perspective about them. Then, you will be able to face it and accept them as part of yourself. Set your goals. Setting a goal is important as it can give you the energy or motivation to practice mindfulness. The goal can be a daily goal, such as practice mindfulness one time a day. It can be a monthly goal, such as connect with the nature through mindful walking two times a month. Or it could be a yearly goal, such as being able to practice mindfulness every day without reminders. Remember that when you set the goal, it is important to put as much details as you can so it feels real and within your reach. Read and listen more about mindfulness. If you are interested in learning more about mindfulness, you can check these books, which give a more detailed explanation about mindfulness. For example, we recommend these two books. The Little Book of Mindfulness, 10 minutes a day to less stress, more peace. And The Headspace Guide to Mindfulness and Meditation, 10 minutes can make the difference. You can also check out blog posts and podcasts from these websites, YouTube channels, and apps. I hope you enjoyed the final session of Mindfulness for Outward. Thank you for watching the four sections. It has been a pleasure to talk about mindfulness and practice it with you. I hope that throughout the sections, you have gained a better understanding of mindfulness and will be able to experience the great benefits of it. Thank you for watching. Remember to keep a record of your daily mindfulness practice.